Now this is a video to demonstrate how to put on a use lab. A use lab is used for the mobilization of mid and proximal humerus shaft fractures. And the, as usual, we need to try and mobilize the elbow and the shoulder. But it's very difficult to mobilize the shoulder. So I'm going to show you how I like doing it. So what you'll need is you'll need a slab that you've measured based on the width from the top of the shoulder with a little bit extra and around up and up and around the humerus on the inside up to the axilla. This is the length of the slab you need. Then next you need your wool, you need bandages and you need two slings. So, thank you. You cannot do this alone, make sure you've got an assistant to help you. And always support the arm because it's quite painful if the arm's flattened around because there's a fracture, remember. So you start your cast up along the shoulder as best you can. Get some more over the shoulder because under the like this. As you can see, there's a tendency for the cast to slip down, which is why we're going to take some extra precautions to stop that from happening. And there's no need to extend the cast far down the forearm. You only need to mobilize the elbow and the shoulder. Okay, next, you take your slab, which you've prepared, and you dip it in the water, give it a nice squeeze, and this is the part where you really need help. So my assistant's going to hold the cast up there. Notice that I've got an additional little length of plaster here. You'll see why in a minute. Then, you wrap it around the bottom of the arm, like this, and this is where the word U comes from because the cast forms a U shape around here. Next, you take your bandage and you wrap it around the arm to keep the U in place. <laughs> wrap it quite tightly because this plaster works almost like a sugar tongue in immobilizing the humerus from the two sides. Okay, now this is a crucial step, the next step. So you remember we made this extra little flap at the top. So you take your sling, you can use flannel or the usual um, collar and cuff that you find in your cavity department. Drop the arm to the body and you secure it underneath the patient's opposite the axilla, like this. And the purpose of this sling is to stop your cast from falling down the arm. So that's your first sling, and then the second sling, put around the wrist, like this, and this is to support the patient's wrist, like that. So the knot needs to be on the side of the neck, not at the back, because it becomes irritating to the patient and they can get a front of dermatitis. And there you go, you slab applied. In terms of maintenance of this cast, it's very important to tell parents that the cast must remain underneath the clothing because otherwise every time they try and put it through the sleeve they break the cast and the cast will fall down. So this may not be removed for the next two weeks. You can lift yourself up to wash in the axilla but with a bite only and the shirt comes over the shirt. Okay. Thanks.